on the Atlantic coast of Andalusia in the southeastern sector of the province of Cadiz and just 37 kilometers from the Moroccan coast, we find the coastal area of La Janda. The municipalities that make up this geographical area are Barbate, Conil, and Vejer de la Frontera. Its nearness to the Strait of Gibraltar, together with its scenic diversity and habitats, makes this area since ancient times one of the most important ornithological sites. 226 different bird species have been registered here, which amounts to 57% of the total number of birds that can be spotted in Andalusia. This fact makes this area of high interest value both to the expert ornithologist and also to beginners. 127 of these species are endangered in one way or another at a worldwide, national or regional level. Amongst others, we may find the Spanish Imperial Eagle, Lesser Kestrel and Orduin's Gull. The migration phenomenon, together with the presence of many wintering, summer or sedentary species, makes the ornithologist's visit to the area interesting at any time of the year. In the prenuptial season from February to May, the coastal area of La Janda becomes an obligatory stopover point for a large contingent of birds. Great flocks of black kites and white storks cross these skies searching for the route that will take them to the nearby African continent. Short-toed eagles, booted eagles and honey buzzards are just a few of the many species that follow the blue wake across the Strait of Gibraltar. The coastal area of La Janda is a reference point for ornithological tourism and also for naturalists, students and beginners to the fascinating world of bird life. Therefore, the coastal area of La Janda has become a mecca for ornithology in the region and one of the most important places in Europe for spotting a great variety of bird species. Some of these being really difficult or impossible to spot elsewhere in Europe. The forested areas of the natural park of La Breña and Marismas de Barbate together with Los Pinares de Roche and the Sierra del Retín are ideal places for the numerous birds linked to the forest environment. It is easy to locate the curious hawfinch or the common crossbill. And night birds of prey like the Eurasian eagle owl, long-eared owl or scops owl. The ornithological jewel in the area is without doubt the northern bald ibis, one of the most threatened species on the planet. The total population in the wild is not more than 250 specimens. The Sierra del Retín and the Barbate coast is the only region in Europe where we can spot this singular bird in total harmony with its natural surroundings. 500 years have had to pass for the northern bald ibis to once again live freely in Europe. It is a proven fact that a bird that disappeared in its day and age has reappeared from its mysterious past and has become a symbol of hope for the species. The Vejer countryside and the Palmitar del Palmar area receive a great number of birds associated to this type of terrain. The old lagoon of La Janda is still a privileged place. The ornithological potential in all this area is incalculable. The irrigation canals and the lagoon's vegetation section off each cultivated plot. This terrain is of vital importance to specific bird species. There, they find the resources to survive. In the post-nuptial season from August to October, this area welcomes back numerous birds that return from their wintering habitats. Many of them use the zone as a highway or a stopover resting area. Others, however, like the common crane or the Spanish imperial eagle, use it for wintering. With respect to the common crane, they can form concentrations of up to hundreds of individual birds. The mouths of the rivers Salado and Barbate and the Candalar and Zarzuela streams are special places for spotting aquatic birds. The Breña Natural Park and the Barbate marshes contribute to maintain the natural characteristics of a long stretch of the coastline. This natural space 
boasts one of the most distinguished sceneries on the coast of Cadiz. It is one of three protected areas belonging to the Andalusian Autonomous Community that includes a maritime zone configured as a maritime terrestrial park. In the marshes, we can spot the cormorant, the grey heron and the little egret amongst the great variety of ducks and waders. The spoonbills and flamingos are also present. The impressive cliffs over 100 meters high, like those of Torre del Tajo and Caños de Meca, offer a spectacular view across the blue waters of the Strait of Gibraltar. Both act as natural observatories from where we can see the comings and goings of migrating and marine birds. The peregrine falcon and the common kestrel live in the rocky cliff walls. This natural park has been awarded the European Charter for Sustainable Tourism in Protected Areas. This charter is an initiative of the Europark Federation whose main objective is to promote sustainable tourism development in European protected natural spaces. It is obvious that the possible development of quality ornithological tourism in all of the coastal district of La Janda is very promising. The exceptional bird life and other fauna, the scenery, together with its strategic location in the Strait of Gibraltar and the nearby natural protected spaces such as the natural park of Los Alcornocales and the Strait confer the area an additional incentive. The zone's solid tourism infrastructure, public services and easy access are a great attraction to a growing client base. We therefore invite you to get to know the coastal area of La Janda. A magic place dreamt about by any enthusiast interested in the study and observation of the fascinating world 